is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back with some more wwe action figure news if you guys missed our video from yesterday we covered all kinds of things here on the channel we had wwe elite legend series leaked out we had four different series a peek at a new figure we had some ultimate edition action figure news as well as a leaked out image of the ultimate john cena that's coming soon that i absolutely love it looks absolutely incredible if you guys missed yesterday's video with all the news definitely go check it out i would really appreciate it but today guys we're back with even more news and a huge shout out to my man Dougie Nunya and the Toys for Life Facebook group over there. Definitely go get in on that, guys. But today, guys, we're covering Ultimate Editions, and it's kind of ridiculous, man. I think it's absolutely, it's just crazy, man. If you look at this right here, we have not, you know, yeah, yesterday we had four Legend series leaked out as far as Elites go. Apparently, we have four new Ultimate Edition sets leaked out. Now, I know some people have covered it already, but hopefully you guys still want to check this out and hear it out. And I think there's a bit of stuff lingering here, like limbering in, in fluctuation. We don't know if some of it's been moved or canceled or what the deal is but we will get into that guys let's go ahead and start off guys first off wwe ultimate edition 11 kane and undertaker now i feel like we covered this a long time ago on the channel and i think at that time we revealed that we were going to be getting a scott hall and a kevin nash possibly in the ultimate edition line you know similar we were kind of speculating it would probably be nwo to match our hollywood hulk hogan you know we kind of went back and forth on all of those things but i think there's been talks that this this pack or these two have been canceled or push back or, or I don't know. I don't know the exact details, but it has been. I've heard little bits here and there about the Kane and Undertaker Ultimate Edition. You guys know that the next two Ultimates we're getting are The Rock and John Cena. I think that these two were supposed to follow that, but again, I don't know if that's going to be the case or not. I don't know if they're canceled completely or if they just moved them or what that is. Maybe we'll know more at San Diego Comic-Con coming up next month in a few weeks, so we'll have to see about that, but Kane and Undertaker Ultimate Edition 11, whether it's still concrete or not, you know, uh, it, it, we we at least know it could be coming. Now, moving on to Ultimate Edition Series 12. This is insanity. Batista and Alexa Bliss. Now, Batista and Alexa Bliss would be insane. I would absolutely grab both of these. We discussed a few, uh, I think it was a couple weeks ago, we discussed the Alexa Bliss figure and how we would love to see that and all of that. We would love to see, you know, exactly what comes of that. And we would love to see it in the new Wyatt gimmick or the, you know, the Fiend gimmick and the darkness, give us interchangeable heads, and all the different things we could see out of that figure. I would love to see Alexa Bliss, no doubt. And then a Batista would be insane. I don't know what they would use for for him exactly. You know, would it be a flashback Batista? Would it be, you know, a, a more current day Batista? I feel like we've pretty much gotten all of his gears. I don't think I would want a WrestleMania 30 Batista. I don't think I would want other things. So, I don't know. I, I feel like his, his hardcore Ruthless Aggression run would be one that would fly off shelves. Not exactly the Hall of Champions, but similar to the Hall of champions maybe even like a vengeance 05 or one of his best gears from around that time would be sick i just don't know what exact accessories he would come with so that's another thing i know you could give him a world championship and you could give him interchangeable like yelling heads and pissed off heads and stuff like that which would be amazing but i don't know exactly what they would go because usually ultimate editions have cloth and like interchangeability i don't know how you do that with a batista but the figure would be sick i'd still grab it no doubt but ultimate edition 12 does have batista and alexa bliss in it at, at least from what we know now coming up on on WWE Ultimate Edition Series 13, guys, it is going to be Hulk Hogan and Mr. T. Now, for this one, it's a little bit, you know, I, I, I know how a lot of people feel. I know Hulk Hogan really isn't a surprise. This would be his third Ultimate Edition. And I guess if it was his fourth Ultimate Edition, if you're going to count the Mr. America that we talked about yesterday, or is this going to be the Mr. America? Because we already know we're getting another Hulk, Hulk Hogan Ultimate Edition from WrestleMania 9. So we have that one. We have our Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And then I think we have, you know, either this one or a Mr. America, unless this is the Mr. America. And I think we even have like an undisputed champion Hulk Hogan coming soon in elite form. We have the Survivor Series elite Hulk Hogan. So, you know, they're going to pump those out. They're going to be excellent and everything like that. But that doesn't really shock me to see Hulk Hogan again because he's going to sell very well. Now, as far as Mr. T is concerned, this would actually be his third figure if you're counting like elites and stuff like that. But this is an Ultimate Edition. I don't know what, you know, gear they would go with because I, f I don't know how many times this man was on television or how many times was he in a marquee matchup, you know? So we we do have the boxing match, and then we have his other gear, which was, uh, you know, it was kind of a thrown-together gear for the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive that we discussed. I love that figure, by the way. That figure is fantastic. And then if you have his little uh, his little Masters of the Universe figure that we got from WWE or Mattel. So, he, you know, he gets pumped in there. I don't know how well he would sell. I don't know if you guys would buy him or not. If the figure's sick and he gets, you know, interchangeability and all of these different things, then, I mean, you know, I, 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 I'm still going to grab it put the review up for you guys, but I don't know how well that would be reciprocated. Who, who knows? Do you guys enjoy this figure? Do you want this figure? 
Let me know down in the comment section below on the Mr. T. And then the final Ultimate Edition series that we're going to be covering here today, guys, is going to be Ultimate Edition 14, and it is going to be Roman Reigns and Rey Mysterio. Now, this is one that I'm super excited about. Roman Reigns is sick. I think I said that I wanted an Ultimate Edition of him. I also, I can't remember if I said Batista. I think I said somebody else in my Ultimate Editions that we need. But nonetheless, I've always wanted a Batista Ultimate Edition. But the Roman Reigns figure, man, this one could be sick. It'll just depend on how they do things. You know, I, I've stated before that a screaming head sculpt would be really sick. You know, that they got the beard right and the technology on the true effects, having the nice tapered beard and the fade, and then you got the pissed off head and the man bun. You get the lay on there. You get the acknowledge me, t you know, t-shirt or the head of the table t-shirt. You could do some really cool things with a Roman Reigns. Gold gauntlet, black gauntlet. Maybe you could throw him a vest in there to give us all, you know, different versions of Roman Reigns wrapped up into one. So, you know, his attire isn't the best, but uh, if you feature all the tattoos, he had really great articulation. You do all these things. The Roman Reigns figure could end up being really sick AF. So, you know, we'll just have to see about that, play, play that by ear. Maybe we'll get render images of all of these things coming at San Diego Comic-Con, which I feel like we will, at least of some of this. And then the Legends figures that we covered yesterday, probably the same deal. But then if we get into the other half of the Ultimate Edition Series 14, we're looking at Rey Mysterio here. And Rey Mysterio, he has so many good gear. There's so many different attires that you could give Rey Mysterio and this figure would slap. So it's kind of difficult to, you know, kind of narrow that down. There's so many that they could pick. And hopefully they pick one that we really enjoy uh, I would love to see the Joker one I would love to see I mean dude there's just so many it's just ridiculous how many different ones they could do but hopefully it makes sense as an ultimate edition hopefully his legs will be able to move they do the old school long pants hopefully it's the more newer mold where the ball joints you know so his legs can move around and he can be posed around and everything like that and since ultimate editions now have all of them pretty much have butterfly joints that'll be interesting I wonder if the Alexa Bliss will also have butterfly joints that'll be interesting as well are they gonna you know mold a new women's torso we'll have to see about that but Hopefully all these figures, um, I'd be hyped for all of these pretty much, except maybe Mr. T, you know, it's just like, eh, I feel like, you know, a Randy Orton or somebody else could go in there maybe over him, but, you know, I understand it. So we'll just have to see, play by ear, see what comes at Comic-Con and all of those things coming up next month, and we'll have to see all of that, but... That pretty much wraps up our news. Uh, this is the thing. See, if I would have plugged this into yesterday's video, I feel like it would have been forever long. So I figured I could make a separate video basing it on the Ultimate Edition news that was leaked out. But I did also give you a couple things about Ultimate Editions yesterday. So uh, I tried to mix them there together. But let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of the Ultimate Edition series. Are you hyped for these? Do you think some of them suck? Are they grabs? You know, what do you guys think? Let me know all of that stuff down in the comment section below. But if you guys missed our news from yesterday, don't go check it out. Tons and tons of stuff leaking out. As we get closer to Comic-Con, more stuff's gonna leak out. More stuff's gonna be coming because, you know, it's getting closer and closer to the time of the reveals. And I don't know the exact date of Comic-Con. Let me go look this up real quick. It is actually going to be Friday, July 23rd, and it ends on Sunday, July 25th. So we're literally just about a month away. Here in a few days, it'll be a month away exactly. So there you go, man. Stay tuned for that. Turn on your bell notification all of that. Before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out. It's going to go to Mr. Goodbye and Goodnight. They should make a Ultimate Edition Randy Orton from WrestleMania 31. I think that'd be sick as hell. I think I said that in my Ultimate Editions video. I would really love to see a uh, Randy Orton from WrestleMania 31 in the red gear. I think they planned on releasing that as an Elite, but then they uh, ended up like switching it last minute. I think there are some that exist out there, but it is, uh, it's kind of based on the WrestleMania 35 figure, so, you know, it's a little bit hit and miss. It's still a really sick figure and everything like that. I think it was on eBay for a while for a few hundred dollars. However, uh, huge shout out to you, man. I think that would be an amazing Ultimate Edition and stuff like that, but that does it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys. And don't cross the line like I. Hmm. Me. I crossed it again, Bradley. You crossed the line. I've been beaten, broken down inside. I've been calling the law with no place.